All right, so kindly unmute for me. And uh, while at that, I would want to go straight to the first question having to do with the fact that the education minister says almost all of us, especially, seem to focus mainly on just the negatives and the problems in the education sector, paying little or no attention at all to some of the positives we have achieved as a country. You agree with him? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that we, we report both. I know there are instances that your station, TV3, have captured um, uh, infrastructure activities that are going on on campuses. We have talked about the, the performance of students during exams. We have talked about the National Science and Math Quiz. The, the, the media houses have paid various good um, um, reportage in terms of education delivery. But more importantly, we have also thrown light, and I know um, your colleague, Kwamla Adum, in recent times have been visiting schools in villages and have shown the kind of deprivation that kids are going through. Currently, we are dealing with a case whereby students, a students in their quest to assess education through no fault of theirs, have to lose their lives. So are we saying that we should just put, we should just highlight the good things and leave the other things that are happening, the deterioration that is happening with our basic educa education, the kind of infrastructure that is lacking in most of our communities. In fact, if you look at the, 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 the there's a proximity, proximity report that was released by the statistical service, and it, it shows that almost 30% of certain communities do not have any form of um, uh, infrastructure that provide education. So definitely people will be moving from one community to the other to assess education. And in doing that, they are exposed to all forms of danger. It is the duty of the media to bring this out. And it is the duty of the people in authority to assess these challenges and then move in to help solve or rectify this anomaly, this wickedness that we are perpetrating on the innocent children of Ghana. So I do not agree with the minister. And I hope and I believe that he also, have, upon further reflection, will know that what the media is doing in terms of projecting some of these ills in our basic education would, at the end of the day, help him to solve the problem of people in various uh, societies. Mm. And, and briefly and finally, where do you think we need to address some of these challenges from? Because they cut across all the educational um, sectors from prime, basic to tertiary. Where do you think we need to focus our attention the most? Throughout ed ed education, if you read various ed education literature, it tells you that the basic is the most important. Get the people to assess basic, basic education, not just any basic education, but quality basic education. Now, look at your data, and then instead of you trying to do a wholesale or wholesale something of a, a kind of policy, you now target certain communities that need these things most. So mm -hmm. by the time maybe your time is due, you would be able to say that when I came, I meet this number of communities that didn't have this kind of infrastructure and I've been able to move them to that level. So the basic is very important. Let's get the basic well. Let's build the foundation of, of, of our students, our children's education in terms of literacy and numeracy. And then we can gradually move it up to the secondary and the tertiary levels. But first, we need to focus on the basic. And in that perspective, we aren't doing well at all. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Peter Patianti.